All right, let's take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Jared, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so I guess what have you have you seen of Sam Paranta since he's been up with the big club? And I guess how comfortable would you be inserting him in a playoff game if needed? Well, I've liked what I've seen. I mean, he's big, strong, fast, competes hard. We sat down, brushed him up on our systems. Um, I've liked him in practice. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable uh, uh, putting him in if uh, that's what I decide. Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Hey, just a quick question. What makes Mark andre Fleury Mark andre Fleury? What makes him so good? Uh, athletic. He's a competitor. Great skill and goal. Um, I think the probably the biggest thing, though, is, is his ability to read the game and, and, you know, know where the players are on the ice and who might be um, a dangerous shooting option. So he's always anticipating the next play. And, and um, you know, so he's quick in his movements. He's, I mean, again, very athletic. So when you read the game and you're one step ahead of it, whether you're forward, defense, or goalie, I mean, it just makes your job that much easier. And he's found a way to sort of adapt his game over the years. And he's just, you know, continues to play at an elite level. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Regarding Rana, uh, is this just another example if you're – if you're willing to uh, play him, it's just another example that this team is all in and, and uh, the first year of his entry level contract doesn't matter. Yeah. Again, I don't know the, the status of his contract, if there's a slide in there or not. I think we saw with new hook, there wasn't some guys have it. I think it just depends on their circumstances. Um, for, for me, um, and our, our staff making that decision it's just watching our guys compete in practice, watching their games and, and trying to best or address the best lineup that, that we possibly can. And if we feel like he's a guy that can help us um, in, in some different areas, then, then we'll use him. If we feel like we have better options then we won't. So that's, um, but yeah, we're all in. I mean, we've been all in all year. And, and I think that, uh, you know, it shows we've we got new hook in there. We got if, if guys are playing well and, and we feel they can help us, they're going in the lineup. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Yeah, Rant, Ranta's contract does not slide. Um, Coach, Vegas is a physical team. You saw what happened with Reeves last night. Um, the question is, you're going to get is, you know, are you guys worried about – Adrian, Adrian, you're breaking up on me. Um, no, they don't feel good. Adrian, I didn't get any of that. Try, try it one more time. You're breaking up on me. All right. We're going to try and come back to Adrian in a little bit. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Um, Jared, I guess for, for health, in terms of health, is New Hook like – is he good to go? And then are guys like Calvert, O'Connor, um, Eric Johnson, are they possible for later in the playoffs, or is it safe to say that they're probably not going to be able to come back? I would say um, OC's been working hard. He's been around here all the time, um, and he's ahead of schedule. Um, there was, you know, there was a loose schedule set for when he, his – return could possibly be and he's well ahead of that uh he's on the ice now um with with on his own and then with the small group the other day a little bit um so i think that th there's a possibility of his return uh calvert had surgery uh and, and ej hasn't started skating yet so i think those two guys are doubtful but there is a possible return um for o'connor We'll take two more here for Jared Pat Graham, Associated Press. So I just I just wanted to check in with you and see if you heard anything on Kadri. Is that anything at all? Any developments there? I haven't heard anything. No. And last one here. We'll try going back to Adrian. All right, Coach. Stupid Bluetooth here. Um, uh, you saw what Reeves did last night. You know, a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, the Avalanche are going to be at the mercy of this guy, especially if he doesn't face any discipline for knocking a guy's face in the uh, 
goal. Uh, you know, like you're equipped to be, you know, size advantage for Vegas and uh, guys that are, could be trying to hurt your top guys. Yeah, I think, you know, I would, I, I think that there's definitely a physical aspect to their game. Um, I don't know that it's, it's any more or any less than, than what we faced in St. Louis. Uh, I, I don't think they're, the intent of their players or any player isn't to go run at guys and hurt guys. I don't, I think that's disappearing from the game, but they do have a physical aspect. And if you're going to play physical and finish all your checks and you've got heavy, big bodies like they do, then, then guys can get hurt. I mean, it's part of the game. It's something that we've, we've dealt with as a roster all year. I, I feel like we've handled it pretty well. We've played pretty well against Vegas uh, in physical games. We've played pretty well against them in, in games that have been up and down. Um, they've bettered us a few times. We've got the better of them a few times. You go through a 56-game schedule, and we finish tied with points. Um, in our eight-game series against them, we, we finish one point ahead of them. So... This is a this is two evenly matched teams, a little bit of a different style, but both teams are deep. Both teams play with a lot of speed. Both teams have good goaltending. Um, it, it's it's a little bit different style, but I'm expecting a, a, a long, hard series here, and and so is our team. And we're just trying to go out and play our game to the best of our ability. But we'll have to deal with the physical aspect, no question. And we're going to have to push back. And, and we did that against St. Louis. Um, from a physicality standpoint, I thought we were really good in our battles. It's something that, we, that we're going to have to be good at with Vegas because they, they swarm the puck, they're on the puck, and, and they're strong on pucks. So our compete level is going to have to be through the roof. And, um, you know, we just got to make sure we're doing everything we can to help our teammates out to make sure they're not getting uh, taking big licks. And part of that's communication. Part of it's... Uh, moving holdups, part of it is um, getting in the right spot and doing the early work so there's outlet passes so guys don't have to hang on the puck. you got to move the puck ahead of their pressure. All right, thank you, Jared. Thank you, guys. I will take questions for Avalanche defenseman Ryan Graves, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Ryan. Um, I know Jared said that once you guys figured out your opponent, he'd have kind of like a crash course study session with you guys. Has that already happened? And I guess regardless of that, what are kind of your impressions of Vegas and what challenges are they going to pose? Uh, I mean, we've gone through part of it so far. Um, we'll go through a little bit more later this afternoon. But uh, I mean, we've played them eight times this year, so we should know them pretty well. I mean, we've we know they come hard. They're they're good defensively. They're opportunistic. Um, they play hard. They're fast. They're physical. So I mean, we know each other very well. Uh, I mean, they're 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 a big physical team. So I mean, we kind of know what to expect. But I mean, we're kind of expecting a a good series back and forth. We know to beat a team like that, we're gonna have to have our best game. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hey Ryan. Um... With all due respect to Minnesota, it seemed like you guys in Vegas were kind of destined to meet in this round. Is, is that kind of the way your thought was, at least at the end of the season in the playoffs? Um, I mean, we, we were battling with Vegas for the President's Cup for sure. Um, but I mean, Minnesota was right there all year. They were up top of the standings. They kind of came on hot um, throughout the second half of the year. So they were, they were a good team. They Pose something a little bit different than Vegas, different strengths, um, different uh, different style. But I mean, they're obviously a good team. They were high in the standings. They took Vegas to seven. Um, I don't think they were anything um, to to take um, to take lightly. They they were a good opponent. Um, they showed it. They showed all year. They should be very very proud of their season. And uh, and they're they're kind of on the upswing. They're they're played really well all year. So. Uh, I don't think it really mattered who we got. We knew we had a tough series ahead of us, and that's kind of expected with the division we had. And we it was it's a good division all year. So, uh, I mean, we knew it was going to be a tough series regardless. So we've been preparing all the same. Ariel Orsudo, 9 News. 
Hey, Ryan, we saw the video of the victory chain in the locker room. So firstly, what was it like for you to be a recipient of it in St. Louis? And then also, what has it been like for the morale in the locker room? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, first of all, it's, it's cool to get it. Um, just kind of to be part of a win um, for someone like myself, who's kind of um, someone who chips in with the lesser known things, not usually goals and points and things like that, to kind of have a night where um, things are bouncing my way um, to chip in on the offensive side. But uh, we've kind of touched on it all year where we're a lighter group. We like to have fun. Um, we have our leaders, our, our people that are funny and um, are light. And uh, and you kind of see it a little bit in the media where guys like Gabe are, uh, are, are lighter and don't take things too seriously. And it kind of trans transcends through our whole group. Um, so things like the chain and things like that, um, our group isn't overly serious, and I think it's a good thing for us where we keep things light and uh, and things aren't overly serious. We're never too high, and we're all we're not too down any, on each other or as a group as a whole. So um, things are just kind of we're very serious, and we take uh, we battle extremely hard each night, but at the same time we have a lot of fun with it, which which keeps the energy high at all at all times. We'll take three more here for Ryan, Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Yeah, Ryan, you guys have an, uh, an opportunity here to advance past the second round. Obviously, that was something that you couldn't do the past two years. I would think that you guys are really excited about this opportunity. I mean, I think it goes without saying that uh, we're excited. We've been excited the last few years. Um, I think we've, we understand the magnitude of the situation, and uh, we understand the group we have. And I think especially the older guys understand that you only have so many opportunities to have a, a good team and chances that – um, where you have a group that you believe can go all the way. And we definitely believe that we have a group that can go all the way. So um, we're definitely not taking this opportunity lightly. And we, and we know that, that this is a situation where we have to, we have to take, take it very seriously. You know, that we may not have unlimited opportunities like this. And we only have so many years with this group that, that we have this opportunity. So um, we understand that we maybe let an opportunity slip away last year and, um, we're definitely not going to let that happen again this year and we're going to give our best effort and we're preparing the right way and at the same time we're, we're really excited and we're going to have a lot of fun with this series and um, we've been waiting around a little bit and we're rested and I think our entire group is just really excited to get started and, uh, and myself I can't wait to get going. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Ryan, there's been a lot of talk about the physical players that Vegas has, guys like Ryan Reeves in front of the net. Do you think it's kind of overstated to talk about how physical they are considering you guys just played a pretty heavy team in St. Louis and, and did pretty well with, you know, clearing out that traffic in front of the net and basically long question short, are you ready for the matchup of having to play guys like Reeves and other big players from Vegas? Um, yeah, I think it is overstated. I think that um, it might be understated how fast we are and um, how hard we are to handle with our speed that, um, it doesn't matter how, how physical teams are if, if we're fast and um, teams didn't try to say all year how physical they're going to be with us and St. Louis is the same thing and um, I think it's kind of understated as well that we can play physical. We have big bodies and um, people forget that guys like Landy and Miko are also very physical and, and play a physical style so we don't shy away from it and, um, and we're not worried about it. It's something that uh, that we're not really too worried about. And it's something that we think we can overcome with our speed. And we know that our speed will um, overcome any physicality that um, other teams may bring our way. Last one here, Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, Ryan, thanks for taking the time. Uh, kind of a two-parter, big picture question. Number one is, uh, how much did you know about Joe Sackett growing up? And number two is, what's it like to play for a GM who, who's, who knows the game on the level he knows it? Um, I mean, obviously, as a hockey fan growing up, um, I was a, a bit of an Avs fan and a, a bit of an Ottawa fan growing up. So, um, I mean, I, I was probably top three favorite players growing up were Aginla, Spezza, and Sakic. So, I mean, I mean, I, I didn't know an in depth of his career, but I definitely loved him. And um, I mean, a lot of kids growing up did. So, I mean, he was a role model for a lot of people. Um, so, definitely getting to play for him is cool. But um, just having around the room, just his his demeanor and his personality is great. He's laid back. He's uh, he's understanding and he understands the game. So he's great to have around. And um, he's uh, he's a, he's a great person. He's he's um, he's very laid back and he's someone that can bounce ideas off of. He's kind of a, another member of the coaching staff that 
really understands the game and he, he's uh, he's done a great job of building a team and um, he's great to have around another asset for us. All right, thank you, Ryan. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche Captain Gabriel Landeskog, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Gabe, did, um, did you try and watch most of the, the Vegas-Minnesota series live? And I guess what were your impre immediate impressions when Vegas won last night and you kind of knew that that was going to be who you're playing? I mean, I thought last night, last night Vegas were the better team. Um, but I think overall it was a good series. It was hard fought and tight, uh, just like you expect the playoffs to be. Uh, um, my initial reactions weren't really a whole lot other than, uh, all right, let's get ready to play Vegas. So... Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, Gabe. Thanks for taking the time. I just just curious on a, on a, come playoff time. Does does a role of a captain change at all? Do you have to change your demeanor or change the way you are? I know that's hard, but what do you have to do differently as a captain to, in the playoffs and maybe then during the regular season? I don't think it's hard. I, I think it basically stays the same. Uh, I'm not going to change who I am. It's it's um, you know if anything, this is. The whole regular season, you go to fine tune things, fine tune details, make sure your game's at where you need it to be come playoff time, as well as the team. Uh, we're not going to change anything. We're not going to um, start doing things we haven't done before. It's just more of more details, making sure we're executing the game plan even more, uh, and everybody just elevating the game. That's about it. It's nothing that I do differently. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Yeah, Gabe, you got an opportunity. Obviously, the last two years you lost Game Seven in the in the second round. Uh, I would think you guys are extra motivated now, knowing that you you have another chance to get to that third round. Yeah, and listen, it's it, uh, we look at it as an, another opportunity to to keep moving forward. And and obviously here, it's honestly everything we're thinking about right now is Game One and having a good start to the series and making sure we come out jumping. That's really our main focus. I think the playoffs in general is a, is a new opportunity for us to have a kick at the can and a chance to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, for us, it's not about moving to the third round or getting past game seven. It's about winning the Stanley Cup, and this is another opportunity to do that. Uh, but like I said, it's for us, the main focus is pre-scout on Vegas and making sure we come out and have a have a good game one and make sure we set the set the tone high. Really, that's what it comes down to. Ariel or Pseudo, Nine News. Hey, Gabe, thanks for taking the time. We saw the video of the chain in the locker room. As the captain, do you feel like it's your obligation to keep the morale high and keep the spirits high, especially in this whole week off right now? No, I, I, I don't think, again, I don't think that's up to the captain. I don't think it's, it's something I try to do personally. It's just I try to have fun when I come to the rink with the guys, especially on days, practice days and, and – especially now that we've had a few days off. We, everybody, you know, really loves each other in that locker room. Uh, it's like a family bond and we really enjoy spending time with each other. Uh, so it, it's, it's not my job. It's kind of everybody's job, making sure our place of work is a fun place to be. And, and uh, uh, like I said, we're, we enjoy being around each other. We have a super tight group and, and it's exciting to come to work. Kate Shefty, the Gazette. Hey. This might be a little silly, but speaking of that second round history, uh, did getting caught on the ice in game seven in San Jose affect or make you think about how you how quickly you head off for line changes in tight games like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it should. Uh, I think you only have to get burnt on that once to, to learn that lesson. Um, yeah, looking back at it, I think I've said this before, but I should just dove head first over the boards but um listen that's in the past and uh i think it it comes down to details in in any game any playoff game especially but game seven you need to be sharp on everything let's take three more here for gabe Arif dean mile high sports gabe there's been a lot of talk about the physicality that vegas brings and uh i guess uh, my question is do you feel like that's kind of been a little bit overstated considering the team you guys just beat in four games is also a pretty physical team yeah, I, I don't know. It's yeah, they're a physical team. They're a good team. Listen, it's not it's not their physicality that makes them good. It's uh, 
you know, if we, there's a lot of things that makes them good. So, uh, and for us, it's a, you know, if they want to play that game, that's fine. It's, you know, we just went through a series playing like that. So uh, we're going to play our game and, and continue what we do and play fast. And, and uh, we're excited for the series. Evan Rall, DNVR. Hey, Gabe. Uh, I mean, you did play this team eight times in the regular season. Are you seeing really anything different or there, is it just kind of there's not really going to be any huge surprises at this point? No, I think at this point it's about fine tuning your game and, and you know, being sharp on your adjustments and, and seeing who it has to adjust first and, and on what. And, um, you know, we, we know them, they know us. It's going to be an exciting series. And last one here, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Gabe, what have your early impressions been of Ambarantha? He's been good. Uh, I mean, obviously, we've just seen it, seen him in practice, but, uh, you know, he's been a pleasant surprise, in my opinion, and, and uh, works hard and a uh, fun guy to be around and, and has got a lot of skills. So uh, he's impressed me. All right. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you.